Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. So, what exactly were they up to for such an extended period, you inquire? Well, let me break it down for you. It was quite the scene, let me tell you. I was hanging out with Puff, just briefly though. We were simply celebrating, man. Puff knows how to throw a party, you know? So, that's basically all we did. But here's what Feline Williams had to say about our little celebration with the big boss, TJ. You know how they say, the truth always comes out eventually. That's all there is to it. And anyone who misinterprets it, well, it seems like they just didn't get the memo. The game also mentioned a few other folks who were there with us, like V, Big Wolf, Fab, and Jeezy. Fab was already there, and Jeezy was on his way. We were just having a good time, you know? Now, Diddy is arguably one of the most controversial figures in the entertainment world. I mean, there's hardly any major discussion online where the man doesn't have some level of involvement. But Diddy is also one of the wealthiest individuals in the industry, a position that seems to have shielded him from many of the controversies over the years. Much like the rap mogul, Feline Williams has his own history of exposing things that rich and powerful people would prefer to keep under wraps. Of course, Williams himself is no stranger to controversy, with his fair share of headline-grabbing moments in the media. But through all his years of making headlines, Williams has maintained his public integrity by sticking to the truth. That's probably why he holds such sway whenever he decides to spill the tea on what really goes on behind the scenes in his line of work. Think about it, people have called him crazy. They've called him a troublemaker. But never once has anyone outright called him a liar. Even when he's called out someone with a history of disparaging others, like Steve Harvey, nobody could say he was lying. Speaking of which, if you've been keeping up with the news lately, You'd know that Williams recently called out the TV host, along with many other performers, for either being liars or outright phonies. But what most people may not realize is that Williams' revelations extend far beyond just a few individuals. His tea spills cover the entire industry, including the shady dealings of record executive Diddy. Now, Diddy is no stranger to controversy himself, but according to Williams, there are others whose names are closely linked to his in ways that might surprise you. According to the comedian, all the headlines about Diddy's alleged involvements with others in the industry could be even more scandalous than we think. We've heard rumors about Diddy's partying habits and his jet-setting lifestyle. But it turns out he might have been doing a lot more than just popping bottles with some of your favorite rappers. To most people online, this might sound like an old story Diddy's lavish lifestyle and rumored escapades have been fodder for gossip for years. But what's particularly unsettling about the latest revelations is that there are now new details confirming that even some rappers who publicly criticized him in the past may have had a change of heart for a hefty payday from the music mogul. They say only the crew members of a movie can truly tell you what goes on behind the scenes with your favorite stars. Well, Feline Williams is that crew member, and boy, is he singing like a canary? Remember a couple of weeks back when Williams had that explosive interview circulating all over the internet? He called out some of our biggest rappers for not being who they seem to be. First off, there was the interview with Club Shay, where the host, three-time Super Bowl champion Sharpie, asked Williams if he and the rapper were involved in the midst of discussing the comedian's conflicts with other comedian in the field. Williams revealed that both he and the rapper were invited to an Illuminati event where a choice had to be made. It was either one of them. The options were either to shave off all their hair and give up the sideburns or receive $200 million dollars as they planned to pay him $10 million per movie for 20 films. Turns out, the rapper in question was Ludacris, who didn't take kindly to Williams' revelations and dropped a diss track in response, calling him out and delving into parts of Williams' controversial life in the process. This didn't sit well with Williams, as it seemed the comedian was holding back in the interview when discussing the rapper. 
After hearing the track, Williams decided to spill even more tea on a different podcast, this time reaching out to Shug Knight on the latest episode of his own show, where he previewed a track he's working on for his adversaries, including the aforementioned rapper. But this wasn't just any diss track, it was Williams exposing some of Ludacris's darkest secrets while dropping some serious bars. I'm coming for your top spot. One of us is real and the other one's fake, feline raps on the hook. He continues. You heard the interview on Club Shay. I gave him a payday cut. I'm still going viral. So, who really cares about what the critics say? Ludicrous. You must be out of your mind. You made a rap song but didn't call me a liar. Elsewhere in the freestyle, Williams calls Ludacris out for questioning his credibility and implies a romantic involvement with Quincy Jones. I've never been with Quincy Jones personally, but that was your girl boy. This is where things really start to heat up. Quincy Jones is known as a godfather in the music industry today, but that's not the only reason he's been causing a stir around town for decades. Quincy's interests and partners have been the subject of speculation online. Let me tell you something. Quincy might be onto something. It has long been rumored that Quincy Jones coerced men into relationships in exchange for making them famous in Hollywood. As distasteful as it sounds, the list of Quincy's conquests seems endless. And Ludacris might be one of the names on that list, right alongside the likes of Tupac and Will Smith. For years, it's been rumored that Jones was involved with them at various times. This alleged relationship with Quincy had a significant impact on Ludacris, and Williams seems to be trying to convince us that Ludacris could still be feeling the effects of it. Come on, man. What kind of mess are you getting yourself into? Are you really going to let these nerdy white guys get away with that? If you recall correctly, there was an interview with Tupac where he accused Quincy Jones of making advances towards him. In the interview, Tupac revealed that Quincy asked him if he could stick it in his backside. But guess what? That interview mysteriously disappeared from the internet. Judging by how the internet works today, only someone as powerful as Quincy would have been able to pull off something like that. Anyway, given this pattern, it's not surprising that Williams might be onto something. But it gets even more convincing when you consider that Ludacris himself admitted on stage at the awards show that he had to cut his hair to win his first Grammy. And there's even a video of Quincy Jones holding Ludacris's hand like the rapper was his partner in the delivery room. Great leader, great leader, remarkable person, William says. So when he says, that was your girl, boy, perhaps he's referring to Ludacris's alleged involvement with Quincy Jones. How does this tie back to Diddy, you ask? Well, if you know anything about Jones's history, you'd know that his mentee was none other than the legendary Clive Davis. In the intricate tapestry of the music world, Clive Davis stands as both a celebrated legend and a figure shrouded in speculative whispers, embodying the duality that often characterizes the entertainment realm. It later became apparent that all of this was mainly because he allegedly mentored Diddy, who was misled by his mentor, who loves to manipulate people. Diddy, as we can all agree, is a name that resonates deeply in the music world. Celebrated as a prolific record producer and influential label owner, his imprint, Bad Boy Records, has nurtured iconic talents like the notorious B, I.G., and Usher. But it seems he had to pay a price for his success with his body. While Clive has amassed a case for his musical creations, he now finds himself in the midst of discussions surrounding his romantic entanglements following two marriages and subsequent divorces. Clive revealed that he's on a journey of self-discovery, exploring the possibility of being attracted to men as well, something that seems to have been on his mind since his time with Diddy. Clive's exploration into his own sexuality sheds light on the complexities of his relationship with Diddy. It raises questions about how their dynamic might have influenced Diddy's own experiences and decisions in the industry. Diddy's rise to prominence under Clive's mentorship is well documented, but the extent of their relationship and its potential impact on Diddy's personal and professional life is a topic of much speculation. Clive Davis's influence in the music industry is undeniable. 
As the founder of Arista Records, and later the chief creative officer of Sony Music Entertainment, he played a pivotal role in shaping the careers of countless artists. But behind the scenes, there have always been whispers about his personal life and the power dynamics at play within the industry. Diddy, on the other hand, emerged as a dominant force in the hip-hop world in the 1990s. With his keen business acumen and knack for discovering talent, he built an empire that spanned music, fashion, and entertainment. But amid his success, there have been rumors and allegations about his relationships and dealings with others in the industry. Feline Williams' revelations add another layer to this already complex narrative. By exposing the hidden truths and questionable practices within the music industry, he shines a light on the darker side of fame and fortune. His willingness to speak out against powerful figures like Diddy and Clive Davis demonstrates a commitment to truth and transparency, even in the face of potential backlash. But Williams' words also carry weight because of his own experiences and reputation within the industry. As a comedian and commentator, he has a unique perspective on the inner workings of Hollywood and the music business. His ability to uncover hidden truths and challenge the status quo has earned him both praise and criticism, but it has also solidified his place as a trusted voice in entertainment. In many ways, Williams' revelations are a reminder of the importance of holding powerful figures accountable and questioning the narratives they construct. By challenging the myths and illusions of fame, he invites us to reconsider our assumptions about success and authenticity in the entertainment industry. So, what does all of this mean for Diddy and Clive Davis? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. The truth has a way of coming to light no matter how hard some may try to conceal it. And thanks to voices like Feline Williams, we can continue to uncover the hidden realities of the entertainment world and hold those in power accountable for their actions. Like, and subscribe my channel for more videos.